and today I'll be sharing with you all my testimony. So when I was two years old, I was adopted from China and moved to the United States with my adopted parents. Ever since that day, I have gone to church. I enjoyed memorizing scripture, answering the teacher's questions, or the other events that the church hosted. When I entered my tween years, my life dramatically changed. One night, the fear of death struck me. From then on, I was terrified of death due to fear of going to hell. Another night, I was at youth group thinking to myself, if I gave my entire life to Christ, he would call me someplace that I did not want to go. So I decided not to surrender my life. In seventh grade, I moved to Florida, which led me to meeting some new friends, which led me to learning some new concepts such as dating, LGBTQ plus community, and the violent world outside. This led me to start questioning my faith and not just taking what people told me. As I watched the brokenness and the struggles that people faced in their daily life, I started to wonder if life was worth living. At that time, my identity was in the activities that I did or the people I was with. I tried to earn my way to heaven by earning God's favor, even though I knew this was going to fail, for I knew that salvation was by grace alone. Finally, the summer of going to 10th grade, God started to open my eyes piece by piece so I could see my need for Him. After a mistake that I made, I remember looking at a sign that said, Never forget where you've been, but never lose sight of where you are going. At that moment, I realized I had lost sight of where I was going. I was willing to go for anything that made me feel good or made me feel accepted. At summer camp, I learned that I was trying to fill an emptiness that only God could truly fill. At Bible study, we sang a song called, Give Me Faith. The words rang over and over in my head, especially the lines that said, I need you to soften my heart, to break me apart. Part of me wanted to surrender, but part of me still was holding on and wanting control of my life. Finally, at youth group, the pastor stood in front of the room and told us that we were all supposed to write down our testimony. I remember staring at this blank piece of paper not knowing what to write, due to the fact that I never knew a moment in my life that I made my faith my own. That I chose what to believe in, not based on my parents. And that was the problem. I needed to make my faith my own, whether to believe what my parents believed in or not. So I started looking at my life and saw how much I really disliked the way I was living, the way I was controlling my life. It was not working for me. So I knew the only other option was to surrender. So I got my youth leader's attention, he took me to the side, and he explained the gospel to me. That was August 14, 2018, when we prayed together, and I surrendered my life to Christ. Over the past year and a half, I have learned to trust in God no matter what may come my way. I've learned to find peace even in the storms, for I know I should never walk alone. In Psalms 46, 10-11, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, and the God of Jacob is our fortress, Selah. I have learned to be still and to trust, even when I don't understand and to know that he is in control. Thank you.